Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to weekly check in for the second week in March, which, oh my god guys, my planner is starting to get a little bit chunky. I have all my expense tracking stickers here, but it is starting to get really chunky. We only, or I only have, let's see, three more months in my budget planner here, which is so crazy how I'm only three months away from me using this for a whole year. So crazy to me. But yeah, I am using, by the way, the Plum Paper monthly planner in the seven by nine size, if you guys were wondering. I'm going to, like I mentioned, weekly check-in for the second week, which for me is from the 8th until the 14th. I'm not sure. I honestly don't think I'm going to be uploading this video today and I have new releases tomorrow. So I might end up getting this video up on Wednesday. So a little bit after, you know, the fact, but I do like to weekly check in from Monday through Sunday. That's kind of just what works out best for me. And it worked out really perfectly this month because the first was on a Monday. So I love that about this month. I think it happened with last month as well. So I'm going to come to my weekly check-in spread here. I also will be updating you guys on how much money I have left over in my cash envelopes that I keep in my pocket planner here and any sinking funds spending, which I have had quite a few transactions, especially last week. A couple of them from just TikToks that I've seen. I don't know if you guys have a TikTok or not, but I will go ahead and leave my TikTok down below. Make sure to follow me if you guys are not following me already. I do plan on actually uploading a TikTok of the four course meal challenge that me and Paul um, did over the weekend. So I don't know what it's been about TikToks, but there's some really good hacks and just stuff that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but they are essentials, which I'm really happy. I'm gonna get some of them this week. But as you guys know, I like to weekly check in for my cash envelopes. So I have groceries. I have one for household items, eating out, allowance, beauty, gas, and then I like to have a section for any unbudgeted expenses, which it's so funny because last week I was like, oh, you know what? You have to be realistic with your budget so then that way you don't have any unbudgeted expenses. And here I am with an unbudgeted expense for this second week. It honestly was unexpected, of course, as most unbudgeted expenses are, but I am not gonna lie. I did kind of see it coming the past couple of months, but I just didn't think that it was going to happen this month. And if you guys would like to see kind of my reaction and kind of like a little story time of what I'm talking about, definitely check out my weekend in the live vlog because I mentioned that in like the first five to six minutes of that video. All right, so let's get started with laying down my budget expense stickers, which I have, like I mentioned, all ready to go here. I have had quite a few expenses and we are basically at the middle of the month. So let's see how much we have for the rest of the month. This week, I didn't end up paying for groceries. It was Paul's turn and we didn't buy any groceries the first week. So I think that I should be pretty a-okay with my groceries amount for the rest of the week. I I mean, we are gonna go to Costco today, so we'll see how that goes. But let me take a look at my expense tracker. Yeah, so I don't have any expenses for groceries, but I do have a household expense for Target on the 8th. We finally bought like an outdoor welcome mat. <laughs> which, oh my God, I don't know, this is kind of embarrassing, but we've been having the same welcome mat outside since December. So it was very like holiday-ish. If you guys watched any of our Vlogmas videos where I showed that, I had been having that for a while. So we ended up buying that and then I had to buy a bin for all of the clothes that I'm going to be selling online. So that came out of my household cash envelope, which is using one of these clay stickers. I'm trying to look through and see if I have any other expenses. The next expense that I have is on the 9th, which me and Paul ended up picking up Pollo Loco. 
it's so funny but we actually had something else planned this day but i don't know why we ended up getting pollo loco so i spent 18 dollars for us for dinner that day paul also ended up going to sally's for me to pick up the hair dye that i couldn't pick up on amazon so that came out of my beauty cash envelope and that was 17 dollars then no expenses on the 10th but on the 11th this is actually something that i got from a TikTok um, suggestion, but I ended up getting some lip plumpers from Target. I think I am going to do like a little unboxing and like trying it on for my TikTok. But yeah, those were $18 and that came out of my beauty cash envelope as well. Then no other expenses aside from my student loans on the 12th. So let me just check this off because that payment did go through on the 13th. Oh, this is another thing from TikTok that I ended up buying from Amazon, which is funny. Like you would think that you would just have like beauty products on TikTok, but no, I found like a household cleaning product on Amazon. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's basically like this pink paste and it's supposed to be really good for cleaning like your kitchen, bathroom, the bathtub and all of that. So I really wanted to pick it up and see how good it was. So that ended up coming out from my household envelope. Was something else that I completely forgot on the 8th, which is from one of my other categories, which this month I believe I only have, is it one or two? No, I have two. One for Easter and one for Weight Watchers. I think I might have gotten a free month for Weight Watchers, which is why I haven't been charged this month, because one of you guys actually joined Weight Watchers with my referral link, so thank you so much for that. So this was for Easter things that I started buying from Target. Oh, I love how Target has pretty much everything out already, and so I've been picking up a couple of things, which I might end up showing either in my weekend vlog or over on Instagram. I have like one more thing that came out this day. Yeah, so I bought my bed frame on the 9th, which is the unbudgeted expense that I have this week. This has been the first unbudgeted expense that I've had in a long time. And you know what? Me and Paul broke the bed and not in the way that you guys are probably thinking, but I didn't end up paying for all the bed frame, of course, because honestly, it was not even my fault. I'm just gonna say that. So I did end up paying for a little bit less than half. So that's $100 that were not budgeted this month that I wish we wouldn't have to pay for. I actually had to sleep without a bed frame for like two nights. And it wasn't the best feeling ever, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. So although it is a big unbudgeted expense, I'm glad. And it was something that we definitely had to get regardless if I wanted to, because my back could not take another night of not having a bed frame. Aside from that, I have two more expenses here. One, I pumped gas on the 13th. So that was $30. So put those right here. And then my last expense was on the 14th, an eating out expense for Joe's Italian Ice. This was part of the four course meal challenge that I mentioned earlier. So I could have definitely taken out everything that we got that day from my eating out cash envelope, but I also do have a date night sinking fund. So I only ended up taking our ice cream from my eating out cash envelope and then the rest of our little date I took out of my sinking fund, which I will show you guys in a second. But those are all of the expenses that I've had for this past week, which are quite a bit and it included a big unbudgeted expense. And so now that I have those laid down, I don't know where I put the full no spend sheet, so I'm just going to go through the smaller sheet that I have here and my sticker album. I also just realized that I didn't lay down any payday stickers for last week, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop this here. My shop gets paid every Tuesday, so that goes there. And then I only had one no spend day this week, which was on the 10th. Which, you know, one no spend is better than none, so. All right, so now that I have all of my stickers laid down, yes, yes, I believe so. I'm going to go ahead and flip back and forth through my weekly check-in. 
for my rollover column here, I'm just going to make dashes because I only, as you guys know, roll over in the very beginning of the month. So I don't need that category for the rest of the weeks. Now let's go ahead and start with groceries. Like I mentioned, I didn't have to pay for groceries this week. And honestly, we've been pretty stocked up, especially because we've been going to Costco and buying ground beef in bulk, as well as chicken in bulk. And I believe we even got salmon last time we went. So I really like that we've been doing that because I feel like our grocery expenses have gone down since getting our Costco membership. So if you guys were kind of waiting to see how that went for me before maybe getting your own Costco membership, I 110% recommend it. Now for household, I have two expenses. I have one for Target of 23 and one for Amazon of 27. And that is a total of $50. So $50 spent for groceries. And I think someone mentioned this in last video, but I totally messed up here. So instead of it being 120, it should be 122. So 122 minus 50 means that I should have $72 left over. And I do still have the bigger envelopes for my first three categories, the so grocery, household, and eating out. And I honestly like having them here. I haven't been using the groceries much, especially because I have those Costco shop cards and so the only cash envelope that i've really been taking with me is eating out pretty much everywhere so for household i should have 72 dollars so i have 50 60 71 and two here and then we have eating out which i spent 18 at Pollo Loco and 14 at Joe's Italian Ice. So let's go through and check these off. As I'm checking in for them. So I spent a total of $32 for eating out this week. And I had $79 left over last week. So that means that I now have $47. Here to last me the rest of the month which i believe for this month i budgeted 115 and that includes like my tips and stuff for eating out so i think i still should be fine i don't know if you guys have been watching me but i had actually planned a trip for the week for this weekend this upcoming weekend but that ended up getting canceled because i don't know what it was about our airbnb but they had to cancel our stay because they were going to do renovations to the house that we were going to be staying at. So we're no longer going to be doing that this weekend, but rather in the month of April. So I definitely don't think that I'll be spending more money for eating out, which is good because I, do, I only have $47. Although I do have like allowance money as well as an allowance sinking fund, but I'm glad that I no longer have to spend more money on eating out. So. 47 left for eating out. We have 20, 40, 5, 6, and 7 here. And then the rest of my cash envelopes I have here in pocket size. So I will kind of go through those as well. I didn't spend anything for my allowance cash envelope. I did spend some money from my allowance thinking fund though this month. So I still have... $89, I was gonna say 82. So 89 in here. Let's go ahead and go through the cash that I have in my pocket planner. So I have 50, 70, 85, 6, 7, 8, and 89. And I like to just move it a little bit like so. I know you guys can't really see me putting the cash back in my pocket envelope, but I just didn't want to take them out of my pocket planner. Um, okay, next we have beauty, which for beauty I spent $17 for hair dye. And it's so funny because after purchasing the hair dye and at $18 for the lip plumper, my mom actually reminded me that I had some hair dye that I left at my parents' house. So now I am fully stocked 
with hair dye for like a month or so I want to say. So 35 in total and last week I had 234 left over so now I have 199 and I actually had an appointment to get my nails done on the 12th but they had to cancel it or reschedule it actually to this week and I completely forgot about it so I won't be getting my nails done up until next week which, I mean, they don't look bad at all, but it's almost been a month, which is crazy because they look pretty great. So $1.99 for beauty. So that's where that money is going to go towards my nails next week. So we have 150, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. So 199 here. And then for gas, I spent $30. On 13th, oh, I had so much fun this past weekend. I ended up going to the Silver Lake Flea Market with my sister, and it was just all around really fun. And the first time that I pumped gas in about a month. Okay, so $30 spent for gas, and I only budgeted 50, and as you guys can see, I have my 20 in here. So 20 remaining which these $20 were going to go towards giving gas money for the trip since I wasn't going to be driving there. But I think as of now, I might end up pumping these $20 this month because at the rate that I'm driving and gas has gone up now. So the $30 that I pumped in my car didn't give me like a full tank or anything. So I might end up using those $20. If not, that's great. And maybe I'll just go back to my $40 a month. But yeah, I have all of that left over. And then last but not least, we have an unbudgeted expense of $100, which that just hurts my soul so much. You guys don't even know because it wasn't even my fault. But of course, that's where I sleep. So I spent $100. And since I don't budget anything for that category, I am going to go ahead and just put that I was over budget by $100, which since it's green, it looks like a positive, but it's really a negative, guys. Like, I cannot believe <laughs> that we had to buy a new bed frame a little over six months into being into our new apartment, but that's what we had to do. And that is pretty much going to be the weekly check-in part of this video. As you guys can see, I'm, pre I'm doing pretty good, especially with groceries and the rest of my cash envelopes. Of course, like I mentioned, I am going to be getting my nails done next week as well as I. it will be my turn to buy groceries this third week. So we will definitely see next week how it is that I'm doing with the rest of my cash envelopes. And it's only the, the middle of the month, so there's still a long ways to go. But I am pretty much done with this weekly check-in spread and... Let's go ahead and move on to my sinking funds and transaction log. Wow, I had seven of them. So the first one was for medical. I ended up paying Paul $25 for the over-the-counter pills that he picked up for me on Sunday. So that came out of my medical sinking fund. Then out of my adventure sinking fund on the 10th, I paid $150 for a Catalina Island trip that I'm going to be going with my friends Claudia and Natalie and Paul and my friend's boyfriend to celebrate um, Claudia's birthday. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm kind of happy that I'm not going to be going to the San Diego Airbnb trip anymore, just because I did have some money to spend for this trip. And now I have two trips in the month of April, which sounds so fun. And definitely have to get back into working out for those. <laughs> the next I have two expenses for my clothing sinking fund. For $50, I went thrifting on Friday, and then $11 came out of that one, which is, I think, the rest of the money that I had in here for some Silver Lake flea market shopping. So I believe I spent a total of $50. So I took $11 from my clothing sinking fund and $39 from my allowance sinking fund. And then on the 14th, like I mentioned, we did the four course meal challenge. So $21 from that came out of my date night sinking fund. And then last but not least, I completely forgot to put that I spent $107 
from my gift sinking fund for my dad's birthday present which his birthday was last thursday but he had a little something on saturday so i definitely wanted to make sure to get him something i got him a cologne from old sub you guys were wondering and he really liked it so that made me really happy to give him that for his birthday and those are basically all of the transactions that i've had from my sinking funds for this past week you guys want to take a look at my sinking funds and how they look right now they are looking popping right now guys <laughs> so that is that and then last but not least i typically give you guys a rundown as to any business expenses that i've had for the past week but honestly guys i have not made any business expenses yet which is both surprising as well as exciting because i definitely wanted to decrease my business expenses at least for youtube and patreon for this year and i think i'm doing so good and that just makes it easier to achieve my debt paying goals which i have kind of a big decision to make and i might end up making a video about how i'm going to be going about my student loan debt so make sure you stay tuned i might end up filming that video sometime soon but with that being said that is going to be pretty much it for this weekly check-in video for week two of my march monthly budget i really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along as i tracked all of last week's expenses and definitely stay tuned for my next weekly check-in video which we will then see how good i'm doing for the month if you guys enjoyed this one as always do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully i will get to see you guys on my next video bye guys